www.warroomsports.com Get that mobile app What's good, War Room Nation? Welcome to Operation Big Brother, brought to you, of course, by War Room Sports. This is the show we analyze CBS Big Brother and treat it like the sport it is. I'm your host this evening. My name is Jimmy at the round table. I've got brown sugar. What's going on? Hey, I know I've been gone for a couple of weeks, but I'm back now. So. We got the Hutch Man. Hutch Man, what's really good? Salutations to the Battle Rap Nation, brand new episode. This ain't yeah. Battle Rap, though, boy. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop my time, stop the... my time. <laughs> <laughs> Salutations to the Big Brother Nation, y'all uh, needed it, and we got it. Hold on, though, did y'all <laughs> He said we got it. He came out when he realized it wasn't rap, he turned his hat straight, though. <laughs> Turn me I wore up, many hats. It was a yeah. metaphor, I wear many hats. Understood, understood. <laughs> From the yeah, exactly. players, we got the homie Hank. Hank, what's going on? What's going on, y'all? Welcome home, Beanie Siegel. <laughs> <laughs> Frank is in the building. What's good, Frank? Yeah, I just want to shout out Caleb for getting curved by Amber again in the Power of Veto competition somehow, <laughs> even though she wasn't there. Yo, unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. We got my brother Dev. Dev, what's going on? Bomb squad. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Bomb squad. Yo, man. Me and Caleb, we all that's left. <laughs> we got a lot to talk about this episode. We'll try to be brief so you don't have like a uh, you know forty or fifty minute episode. There's so much to talk about. We have to talk about um who got kicked out this week, uh, whether Zach is gay for five hundred k. This is a lot to talk about. <laughs> but, um, let's start. Let's start with this though. Um, let's just start with who got sent home. Nicole got sent packing. She got backdoored. No Zanky, but um, <laughs> what do you guys think about how everything played out with Nicole being sent home? I'm gonna start with you, Dev. What was your opinion? Well, uh, like like Hank always says in the group, CBS tried to hit us with the 52 fake out, try to make Man us in the think, tailpipe. <laughs> try to make us think that um Donnie was the one going home. Um, once they they, they hit the chick with the Zanky, the the back door, like it was. <laughs> To me, it was a no-brainer that it should have been her. Like, Donnie is that cat, like we talked about Jocasta a few weeks ago. He's the expendable cat that they're going to nominate every week. The only difference between himself and Jocasta is Donnie can actually win some competitions, but his luck is going to run out because he knows it. I mean, even he started crying this week, you know, tears running down into his beard and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he knows that the ranking's on the wall, and one of these times he's not going to be able to get out of it because he's going to be sitting next to one of their homies at some point. Mm -hmm. So, um, but Nicole, I thought you know she was the the only logical choice because she's like she said at the end when she went out, she's not that great of a threat, but considering who's in an alliance and what numbers are left, she was probably the biggest threat that they had left. So. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I want to go to you. I want to go to you, Ness Hank, because you said something interesting in the group, which I agree with. First of all, Donnie is driving me crazy. He's making me pissed now. He's just irritating. <laughs> but you, you just made the point that Donnie is clueless. Like he's crying and carrying on. He has no clue of anything that's going on in the house. Like how did he stand? We thought we thought at the beginning he was a player. Like what happened to the point that he has no clue what's going on? Yeah, I don't think people actually talk to Donnie about the game. Like, it seems like everybody, when they go out the house, I'm like, oh, Donnie was the nicest. So I think Donnie knows about everybody's life, but they don't speak to him about the game in any way. Because normally, <laughs> like, every, when it's a house vote, everybody knows what's going on. So, like, when the when there's the two people that are, that are sitting there on the block, you know, one of them kind of acknowledges, like, okay, I'm going home. Thank you, guys. Or they throw the, you know, the speech about being mad or try to flip the house. But Donnie really gave a speech like he was leaving and it ended up getting a unanimous vote to stay. So he obviously has no idea what game is being played right now. You know, that, ama that, that, that amazes me when you watch it, how some people have no clue. Yeah. What's going it's like so much gameplay going on and they really are lost. Frank, what do you think about That's how why I think he's crying and stuff, though, because I think he got this feeling like, yo, I'm just alone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah he, he, but he's just it, realizing it, though. Yeah, that probably can get a little frustrating. <laughs> I can't even play pool. Like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> like, me, though. Well, Frank, going to you, Frank, what do you think about Nicole going 
going home and how Donnie is like just clueless in the house. I, I think Hank brings up a good point. Donnie knows everything that happened in their life in 1996, but he has no idea what happened the last two months. <laughs> 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 I'll admit, I, I fell for the fumble ruski. I fell, I fell for the, uh, you know, been added in the tailpipe a little bit. I thought Nicole might be going home, but I'm going to put on my Jimmy Williams uh, yeah. conspiracy theory hat right now. I'm gonna say, like, <laughs> so Big Brother had this twist that, like, the HOH could potentially go home some point in the game, and it hasn't happened yet. So, like, they, like, whispered in Christine's ear, like, yeah, we got we to gotta make this twist work. So, <laughs> like, we need to send an HOH home. Got so it. we can run it, that, so we can run it back next year. We got to run this back. House <laughs> full. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly I mean, I think what at this point, when you're putting, like, you got to think about people that you're going to go up against at the end. And uh, I, I think Devin was the one who made the point. Or not Devin. Um, Devin's been long gone. Um, I think it was uh, Derek at, that made the point that um, Nicole has three HOH wins already. You know, yeah. so when you're putting her up against Donnie, who has won some power of vetoes, but he's never been HOH or anything. You gotta send her out the door, man. You you gotta think about who you gonna go up against for that for that five hundred k. Yeah, yeah, this is true. Paris. That's why you tried to drag Victoria to the end too. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It was game, so. yeah, pretty like much. Donny Donny <laughs> will go home at some point. Yeah, um, I think Derek is just you know he, he's like well you know it's a couple of members in my own alliance who are assholes so you know I keep them around. I got this in the bag like <laughs> right. Pretty go much. against Zach. I, I'll make a final two with Zach. Follow me. <laughs> Yo, but, um, let's go to Paris. You are the only female with us tonight. My question to I you know. is, Nicole, 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 Nicole went home, right? Free Joey. Um, it's right. Another, another, another female out the house. And we know Joey in the beginning was trying to get all female lines. How do you feel as a female watching this, knowing that they can't stick together? They're all being picked off one by one. Doesn't it piss you off? Because, I mean, Joey tried to get in the Unite. Oh, first of all, they're all dumb. Like, none of them have any <laughs> no. idea how to play this game. Like, right Nicole is supposed to be a super fan, but she's, like, one of the dumbest players, and her voice is annoying, so I'm not sad that she went uh, out. What? <laughs> like, Word. Yeah, she's coming out guns blazing. Word. I know you just killed her. In peace, Nicole. Tell them how you really She's play. dumb, and she looks like she smells. And, like... Yo, I can't believe she just uh, Wait a minute. She's back in the detonator. Yeah, this is true. I mean, <laughs> yo, 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 you see how these women can't even stick together on the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Hutch, we ever heard from you, Hutch. What do you think about this week? Nothing Scooby do. Nicole being sent <laughs> home. <laughs> Donnie being clueless to what's going on, like, you know, Donnie, is um, playing, Donnie playing Survivor. He's in a whole different game right now. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's your um, opinion? Donnie, Donnie got a torch. <laughs> <laughs> he already got the beard. That's right. Uh, I think um, I, I knew Nicole was going, you know, like I said last episode, the mm -hmm. history of the showmances, once one go, their their boo goes the next week. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think Donnie's at this point is like Mr. Magoo, Inspector Gadget, the bumbling dude who <laughs> stumbles around but somehow just solves the crime anyway and gets away with everything. Like he knows exactly when he needs to win, or maybe he doesn't. It just happens. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but um. I don't. I don't think he's going home. He'll probably be one of the last floaters to go home because everybody loves him. Like even everybody who's evicted, when they show his video, they instantly like, oh, oh, Donnie, right? Yeah. Like, you're like mm -hmm. hypnotized by him or something. They love yeah. you, Donnie. And, and at this point, putting putting Donnie up doesn't add any more blood on your hands because everybody's done it at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like knocking mm. off a smut journal. You can't really <laughs> <laughs> like everybody. Has it. Ah, ah, <laughs> hey. Joe. Speaking of needing a win, Jimmy, what did you? Are you impressed with uh, Frankie's win and the? Yo, and the, uh, I was, that was my next thing I was going to bring up. Like Frankie having to win by himself. I mean, as Dev said in the group, Caleb, um, he, he staged a protest. He had to sit out, <laughs> and Frankie still beat um Donnie, and Zach by himself, and uh, won the chance to go see the Dallas Cowboys, which is sort of like a punishment, but. <laughs> none, nonetheless, shout out to the Cowboys fans out there. But nonetheless, like uh. Mm. You know, th th sometimes things happen that are so crazy that, you know, the conspiracy theorist I am, I say, yo, it's fixed. How did he beat them two by himself, yo? That's yeah. crazy. It was, yeah. 
it was the perfect game to do by yourself. That's true with too. Two because because it was all about coordinating and working together. So instead of working with somebody else, he was able to just coordinate between his two hands. Well, let me ask you a question about this though. Do you think it's oh. fair? I'm gonna start with you, Parrish. Though, <laughs> do you think it was fair for um then to allow had that to happen in terms of Caleb not throwing it, just basically sitting out? What did you think about him sitting out like that? <laughs> I thought it was funny. But at the same time, Caleb is also an idiot, and he would have had like, like anybody. Like anybody. <laughs> you know, she got shade for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I agree with what I you're mean, saying. Though, he he would have did better off helping him. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, much, pretty much, but go ahead. Dad, you say that? I was about to say it's easier to throw the competition if you when you're play in the competition playing it. and just be terrible at it. Yeah. Like that would leave no doubt. Like if you go up there. And and every time Frankie's getting the the ball near the hole, can't say that talking about Frankie. But um, <laughs> and, and, you know, you flip it off or whatever, and you mess it up. That's much more of a protest than sitting on the side sulking. I'm not gonna help you. Hug <laughs> like, him after he won. Yeah, what then, that about? then you're his friend again because yeah. he's safe, and then you're his best friend because he got you a trip to see the Dallas Cowboys because uh, Caleb was just groupie in that whole trip. Yeah. But. Yeah, I think we really we really need to call Caleb out at this point. Like he won the first he won the first competition, but like and was cocky about it. Yo, yo, first of all, like he had the worst poker face. Like Frankie figured out he was throwing the competition before the thing even started. <laughs> yo, that was so terrible. Like, yo, he's got no like he can't bluff at all. And then like like homie can't even throw a competition right. Now. Like how can you not like even throw a competition right? <laughs> I thought like even when Frankie came down to having like you know he was getting close to finishing that competition because I won't repeat what Dev said. Um, I think that Caleb should have got up and just like Terry Tate tackled him. <laughs> I mean, because it, it wouldn't have been illegal for him to get up and try to be a part of the game at any point. Yo, so no, before he won, just tackle him, Terry Tate. Tackle him. I do want to give Caleb credit. I do want to give Caleb credit for one thing. He might be the most loyal player I've ever seen on Big Brother. <laughs> That's he's, still up, he's still up there talking about like the bomb, the bomb squad. The bomb squad. The bomb squad was dead after week two, and he's still talking about the bomb squad. <laughs> like, like, I mean, they're just, and they're just letting him like this okay. moron. He's but, he's still mad about Amber, even yeah, though like he's still he, he any moisture. Like he's, he's still he's wearing a shot, and he's still mad. mad. Yo, he's mad loyal. Um, Hutch. What what do you think about uh, Caleb in this week he's had? Um, you know, showing that he still has stalker tendencies, as well as uh, his. Gotta advertise his show, man. Yeah, his, 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 Yeah, you think that's he's also that's also the fix. Put a stalker in there to advertise a new show on CBS <laughs> called <Stalker. laughs> <laughs> And also him him throwing a competition, but you know, even being terrible at that. What do you think about it, Hutch? Uh, I don't I don't like that he got to go to see the Cowboys, even yeah, though it's cool. Cowboys, but. I don't because he didn't do anything. Now, now uh, I didn't really listen to the rules at the beginning. How did Christina get to go? She was H O H. H O H. Right. So H O H got yeah taken yeah. off. She gets to go. But um yeah, Frank was he made a good point too. Like aside from week one, Caleb hasn't really done anything beast mode uh, since then. I think he's been riding that wave, and people's been like. Buying into that to a certain extent. Listen, um, in bitch mode since. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's also the number one goon for uh, who who we talk call <laughs> <laughs> Nart Game Strong. Also the son of Dan, uh, yeah. Eric, who's already becoming a big brother all star. <laughs> with eight people left, like Derek is completely running the house. He's like one of his number one goons. Like Derek has gotten to the point now where he doesn't even do his bidding anymore. Like no, he sends people to work for him. It's crazy. Yeah, it's him and Zach. And and then sometimes Ridiculous. Cody is right hand, but Cody don't do the grunt work like Caleb and Zach do. Yeah, Cody. Cody and, and, is like Pippin, but and like one of you guys um pointed out in our Facebook group, the reason why nobody has questioned Derek yet, or like it hasn't popped into anybody's head, like wait a minute, he's controlling us. Is because he makes them think that everything he tells them to do is their yeah, idea. That was Frank's point. Exactly. Yeah, yeah it it makes it makes it, like it's like straight up. My, like he's Charles Manson. He's like running the cult right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like they just believe everything he says, and they think like he's convincing them that like it, it's okay what they're doing. And yeah, they're but, doing just but you like know what though? He, he's practicing Inception. Like he he sat there on the couch and he was like, "Man, we really got to figure out a way to get Nicole out of here." <laughs> <laughs> like, I know what I can do. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> no, no. 
He called them all in a room. Yeah. A five was a five person alliance and four of them in the room and said he wasn't it. Like he does. It's right. just like next level. Like Yo, right. He had the people confront each other. And they start in arguing in front of everybody, <laughs> and he got out of the situation. Like, you know, and at maybe, the end of the day, what he said was true. What Zach told the lady was true. But here's the here's yeah, the that's crazy. almost that's almost some funeral level shit. Yo, yo, I'm <laughs> telling you, yo, that, this is Zach why, this started is why, telling the truth all of a sudden. Like, this right? is why he is the <laughs> SOD. He's the son of Dan because some of the stuff he does, like I don't know how he gets away with it. It's amazing the mind control that he seems to uh, you know exhibit in the house. Yo. Here's the greatest part of here's the greatest part about the whole thing. He hasn't really done anything wrong to anybody. He hasn't really got any not at blood, all. blood on his hands. Like yo, yo, he that's why I was, you know, I was feeling some type of way about him winning HOH this week. Like I hope he he I, ends up not being the HOH because you know, I bet you he's gonna throw that bat like he's gonna yeah. make sure that he's not the HOH. I don't see, he probably I mean, he probably does it long enough to get a letter from his daughter and then throws the next joint like Frank said. But this is this is my next make. question to everybody. How because there is still two HOHs, there's only so many people left. How is what could he possibly do? Even if he doesn't win, he you has to nominate two people now. So what's your piece? He's, he's going to get some of his minions on board with being pawn nominations, and then tell them I'm going to throw it, so you guys will no longer be on the block, or however that works. I don't know how that works. But they would have to. Maybe win. no. I was about to they say he would win. have to actually yeah. win for them to to get yeah, off. Yeah. I don't know. I th- I, I Whatever. He's gonna, gonna set happen. up a plan that's going. Yeah. He's gonna put like off. like he's like Dev said. He's gonna convince like Caleb and Zach to go up. Mm-hmm. And if, then, he, like, uh, if, if he does this, he's the greatest. Because I don't see what he can do. And then he's going to convince Frankie to put, like, Victoria and Donnie up, so the Battle of the Block is going to be, like, a no contest, and, and they're going to win. And then he might – yeah, it's going to be something. Like, he might get Frankie to throw it so he can win and they can get those two out instead of the people that's in their alliance. So, I don't know, man. It, Yo, before we be get too, too far off the subject, I want to shout out Frankie for doing more for gay athletes than Jason Collins ever did in his life. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> because I was thinking about that. Like with this, with this upcoming week, he's going to have to get blood on his hands. We should have like an alarm or something goes off anytime someone says that. But, um, but you guys are right. If he can convince some of his own alliance members to go up, yo, at that point he's the best. Like, cause how could he you will. do that? He will. I mean, I it's not a lot of people. Cody I think it's time for Cody to go up. I think he can honestly convince Caleb and Cody to go up on the block for him. Well, Caleb, Caleb is a dog. He's gonna do whatever he tells him to. Like, yeah. he's the most loyal <laughs> man. Yeah, like, he's, yo, he's a straight like, goon. Caleb Get him, boy. Right. Caleb is like, why you call two in the morning? Like, yo, yo, Caleb's, yo, Caleb's like one of those dudes that are like, Caleb's one of those dudes that are like born identity. Like, you just give him like you calculate the mission and like he's just on the road. <laughs> <laughs> That's his so, nickname. Got, Born identity. <laughs> all you gotta do is whisper "bomb squad" in his ear, and it's on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yo. that is true. Cause that's that's the only time he like activated when he went in and told Christina that stuff. He'd have never did that if, if Derek didn't didn't plant this. Yo, oh, yo Caleb has never even heard the word detonator. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't even heard the word used in the house. All right, he's so clueless right now. Before we get out of here, there's a couple a couple last things I want to go over. Um, one is Zanky. What do you guys think about Zanky? Uh, somebody said um in the in the pre-show that uh <laughs> Zach is gay for 500k, so he's just you know pretending because he's all about that money. But what do you guys <laughs> think about it overall? Like, I mean, because it gets out of control at times. Um, let's start with you, Dad. What do you think about Zanky? And like you guys said, man, I think this dude is, he's finding himself on national TV. <laughs> like, coming out of the closet, I don't know if it's for the money or the, or, or does he really enjoy or, Frankie's company so much. That, Frankie got game like that. Frankie really got like real Matt yeah. game. Like. Yeah. I mean, I guess this also takes it back to the whole reveal. If that's Absolutely. what we're going to call it. That, like, that, uh, that, that was the next last topic yeah, I want to get like into. Like Frankie... Because at that point, you know, Zach hated his guts. And after that meeting, when he told everybody who his sister was and that he was a social media mogul, <laughs> and no, that he had 1.5 million followers, like not knowing probably a million of them overlap, but that's besides the point. <laughs> talk to um, him, talk to him, Dad. I, I think 
I don't know, because coming out of that meeting, it seemed like Zach was really in his feelings. I mean, he was in the diary room, scream crying, for God's sake. Like, give him the money! Like, <laughs> Caleb was a little upset after that. He was talking about kicking him in the teeth and everything. Not game strong, was cool, calm and collected, like he was supposed to be. Um, I don't know. It, was, it, it seems like as soon as Zach got some power... All Frankie had to do was congratulate him, and they were friends again. I mean, Zach tried to tell us that what he's doing is not real, but I don't believe it. I think he genuinely likes this dude. He, he might be coming out of the closet on national TV. <laughs> Frankie, Frankie is Max Julian. Um, Frank. <laughs> yo, yo, he told Zach, I, I'll take you to the top. No, uh, I, I want to be your mother. Your father, your brother, um, but Frank, what's your, what's your Frank? What did you think about um Zanky and also the big reveal this week? Um, I mean, I thought the reveal was, I, I think Frankie's game, like social game, is kind of weak when he's like confronted. Like he just starts like stuttering, and like you could tell him, like you could tell he's like trying to like think of lies to tell, like in the middle of yeah, the conversation. Yeah, he definitely he's, he's like, mad. Ruben stuttered. Soon he's he just like approached. He's just like, what, what, wait, what did I say for, wait, what, 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 like, dude, just, just speak. And like, th during the whole confrontation, if you watch the whole video, shout out to Adina for putting it on, on our group, like, in yeah, the beginning, he's like, he's like, I just want to speak, and they were like, talk, and he's just, and he had nothing to say, like, he he didn't even know what to do. Um, but I thought it was, I thought it was weak, I don't think anybody really bought it, especially because NGS was in the building, he was like, keeping him on point, like, making him talk about game, even though he was trying to distract him with the Ariana Grande thing, but, uh, but Frank, I don't think anybody cared, I think the people who acted like they were impressed, like, in that room, I'm not speaking about Victoria, she was genuinely impressed, <laughs> I think the people who acted like they were impressed, I think they were just doing that to give him a reaction, like, because Frankie really overstates his life. Like, you're a nobody. Like, yeah. I'm a YouTuber, and I'm a mogul, and yeah, my sister's a mega I mean, sister. Yeah, in her, in, in her spot, she, she may does be... no beef, though. Yeah, on, in her lane, she may be a mega pop star, but these people don't know her. Like, they were Yo, like, Most of all, like, like if Frankie really... I mean, I believe he has that many... Like, if you can't find a way to monetize 1.5 million followers, how about you don't have any... Like, yo, Jenna Marbles made, like... She made a life out of that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's talking about, I got 1.5 million followers, and he ain't got nothing. Oh, but y'all can best believe he ain't playing for no kids in Africa. Oh, come on. Frankie was keeping that money. Yeah. <laughs> he, no he just picked a random place. Yeah, we built yeah. schools in Africa. <laughs> yeah. I was like, where in Africa? You know how big Africa is, my yeah. <laughs> What school are you building for five hundred thousand dollars in another country? He sound like sincere on belly. Yeah, Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Africa. Hey, hey, right, Hank. Like, first of all, it's going. To try, it's going to you're going to pay a lot of money just to send the materials over there. No, Uncle Sam here, Uncle Sam here, it's cut out of that 500K. Oh, yeah. You're building a townhouse school. <laughs> <laughs> 16 students. A townhouse school. <laughs> Young, he built in a desk. Little young charter, <laughs> young charter. He said that like he was going to educate the whole country. <laughs> <laughs> he built in schools in Africa. No, but I, I, be Africa I definitely think Yankees for real though. Like I, I, I kind of, I don't think that Zach's really acting at this point. Like he seems really emotionally attached to Frankie, even in like the diary. Frankie got game, yo. He's like the Ron O'Neill. Yo, Matt if, if, Frankie, if, Frank, if Frankie was a female, I think he'd be in like mad rap videos. Like I think <laughs> that's all you hey, do. Hutch told you last week he's a thought. Yeah. Hey Parrish, <laughs> let's get to you. What do you yeah. think about, what do you think about Zanky as well as the big reveal this week? Okay, I feel like his big reveal was pointless because everybody in the house had to think about who she was. Pointless as a dog. And I feel like Zach really wants to be backdoored by Frankie. <laughs> like he needs to go ahead and come up. <laughs> The closet likes him. Yo. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, Before we get out of here, cause um, yo, I ain't I ain't saying that about that. Before we get out of here, though, let's get predictions uh for this upcoming week. Frankie's what do you think? What do you think remains? H O H and, and and you know what does the son of Dan Nart Game Strong do to uh, get out of this situation? A fortunate situation that he's in. Um, he throws the bat out of the block. He well, he's gonna talk ball. them into um, going up. And then he's gonna have them throw it. Interesting. Yeah, I, Interesting. I honestly think win. that's what's gonna happen as well. I think he's gonna put two strong people up, and then have Frankie put two weak people up. And even if they happen to lose, 
Like, he's, they can just backdoor whoever wins. Like, if the veto is pretty going to be basically like the six of them playing. You know what I mean? It's going to yeah. be like the detonators playing the veto competition, so it's not even going to be a big thing to backdoor somebody. Right. Yeah. All he has to do when you think about it is get get his alliance together and was like, yo, how can we figure out a way to get <laughs> the other two out? Like, and let them let them decide how to do it. Like, no, yo. No, no matter what happens, I think I think this is Donnie's week. I think Donnie's. Yeah. I can Donnie, goodbye, unless, Donnie. unless he can unless he can pull another you know veto competition. You know right. he's gonna get voted back in though if he leaves this week. That's true too. That's a good yeah, point. But I don't know if it's gonna be a vote or a competition. It would be more fair for it to be a competition because we already know who year? the most popular people are. So I mean, with a competition, I like, think about it. It is a competition. He'll probably still win. Yeah, because everybody else is in there. <laughs> terrible at competition. <laughs> Nicole, Nicole is a shot. Somebody oh, gonna get lucky. Somebody Costa, never Costa gonna just anything. wasted her whole summer. She could have just stayed home. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Why she end up winning, getting back in, and, and leaving right, like, back home. Home. <laughs> right back home? Yep. All I know is at the end of the week, yo, know, Narc Game Strong is just gonna be flipping a coin in the air, like, all right, who do I want? <laughs> Kaiser so He's just gonna release the goons. <laughs> Kaiser so say a big brother. <laughs> and I remember the diary session where he was like, so the only options are, I go on the block. That ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he made it cocky. happen. He get a little bit cocky in it. <laughs> no, but think, no, but think about this, though. What if he just brings his whole alliance to the room and lets them decide how to play it out? How should we do this? Or let them this, think they're deciding. But that's the thing. That's the yeah. thing. He knows what he wants. Mm -hmm. But let them think they're deciding and say, listen, guys, there's only so many of us left. These are the people not in our alliance. How do we get them out? What do you guys think? <laughs> let them decide. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, you know, so... Because he throws it out there by saying, these are the people not in our life. Exactly. So right I can there. see that working. And then they'll try, they'll think they're Einsteins. And, uh huh. Uh, they're like, we can go up as pawns. <laughs> <laughs> and like, like Frank said, he's sitting in the back flipping the coin. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be Caleb. Caleb will be the first one to do it because he did it last. Yo. Yeah. Caleb I'll, is a G, man. Caleb is a frontline dude, man. Look, I do it. <laughs> He about yeah. that action, boss. Red just, calculate, eyes. just calculate that mission. Just calculate that. Put us two up. Make sure you put us up. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so sad when Caleb realizes that he's been playing this game for a team that doesn't exist. Yo, he, 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 he might hurt somebody. He yo, might. He's gonna watch, yo, he's gonna watch this whole season back with the Joel Embiid face like the whole time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yo, he might hurt somebody. Like. Uh, uh, what you call him, Freck? Um, what's the new nickname he got now? Who's that? Uh, Caleb. Bitch Mo Cowboy? Not Bitch Mo no. Cowboy. Um, Born Identity. Born Identity. Yeah. Yeah. You just, you Born just punch that mission in. Just punch that mission in. Punch mission in. He's, he's on the road. Anyway, man, listen. This has been another episode of Operation Big Brother. As we always say, listen, subscribe to the channel. Yep, yep. Share this video with your friends who watch Big Brother and have them share it with their friends who watch Big Brother because we all love the show. As you can see, we do an actual webisode about Big Brother. Who does that but us? <laughs> um, don't forget to join our group. The link will be in the description box. We have fun during the show. You can live watch the show with us. We chat, make jokes, and it makes the you know show that much more enjoyable. Listen, um, this is War Room Sports. As we always say, don't accept mediocrity. Be steadfast in the war against ignorance, and we'll see you chumps on top. Bomb squad. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> it's the war room with five nights at the round table, five Philly.